Hammer Flash 7 time. B Team System. You ain't testing, you're guessing. It's me, Mikey Pipes. My next service call. Um, I recently just bought the house under renovation. Moved in yesterday. Well, he's still doing construction, by the way. <laughs> and um, the second floor AC system isn't working. Uh, nothing's going on. Um, the outdoor unit's not going on, he tells me. It's blowing, but just blowing uh, warm air. So let me show you. I've identified this unit as being the top floor. The one in the middle is main floor. And the one back there is the, the one in question. And I put my ear up against the electrical compartment. I heard the contact it being pulled in. So I'm almost positive that is the second floor. It could be because I'm getting vibration from this. So let me unplug that. Oops. Now that vibration noise will go away. Let me go back over there. Put my ear against it and hopefully it wasn't a false signal. Uh, I don't know if these are weeds or plants or whatever, but all right, here it is. And yep, I hear it. You know that humming of the contactor being pulled in. She's not loud, but that means that I have 24 volt signal to the condenser. It's a ream, right? Yeah, so let me switch to the quarter inch. Do it enough times, you know. All right. Actually, it's a rude, it's a, re it's a rude ream. <laughs> Relax, it's a ream. All right, let's take this cover off carefully. Oof. Someone doesn't believe in maintenance. All right. Let me get the blower. Clean this all off first. All right. All right, now that everything is clean. All right, sorry, the iPhone overheated. All right, so now that the electrical compartment is much cleaner than it was, I have my 24 volt signal because she is pulled in, as you can see right there, right? Um, we're not gonna go for the capacitor. We're not checking that first. First, we're gonna check to make sure we have power where it needs to be. So this white line and this black line is my line voltage coming in. So let's go set that for AC voltage. Let's go right there and right there, and we're gonna see that we have nothing, All right? But if I take my one to ground like that, you're gonna see I have 122 volts, and let's go to the other one, there to there, All right? And you're gonna see I have 120 volts, All right? What's going on here is that there's something electrically wrong with power coming in, both both lines, both L1 and L2, are coming from the same single phase, right? So in your circuit breaker panel in your house, you know, you have two two phases, right? You have two lines coming down. Now, it's not, so, it's, it's not like that, like here's L1, here's L2. It's just that they, they alternate. Every other one is a different one. I'll show you that in a circuit breaker right now. Do you guys remember this boiler with this 125 gallon indirect? Remember that I was in the middle here? So he kept the Ultra 3, but his contractor repiped everything. Nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. All right, let's go find a circuit breaker. Panel. See, this is a 240 volt circuit, right? This is L1 or line one. This is L2 because you have two phases. You know, you have 110 volts and 110 volts. So this is one, that's another, right? So this makes 240 volts. Right, if I took this one and this one put it there, I'd only have 110 volts and 110 volts. I wouldn't have a total of 240 because they're coming from the same line of power or the same leg of power. Um, if I'm if I'm miss speaking about that, please feel free to correct me down in the comment section down below. But fortunately, he has an electrician here, so 
who speaks un poquito inglés. So we'll see if I could, uh, you know, sp spit some Spanish out. All right, so in this particular case, you know, the uh, electrician, that's what you want to call him, when he was moving around all the wiring and the breakers, apparently, you know, he wasn't paying attention and uh, messed up all the wiring. So uh, it is what it is. Quick little easy service call. And uh, hope you guys learned something out of it. If you did, let me get a thumbs up. If you didn't, um, I don't know. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Hopefully I explained that right. All right. Be well. God bless. Hope all is well. Stay tuned for the next one.